This is Captain Cocky, all lined up and ready for takeoff. I was the first female African Dreamliner captain in the world. I'm Captain Irene Koki Mutungi and I'm a change maker. This is a state of the art aircraft. It's the most sophisticated we have on the market right now. I'm flying the Bentley in the sky. Captain Irene Koki Mutungi's pioneering journey to the top of aviation began at a young age. Koki's father was a commercial pilot and she dreamed of following in his footsteps. I was flying with my dad probably from about two years old and by the time I was five or six I would talk about I want to be a pilot but nobody took me seriously. So I get to about 17 and I, I still want to fly and believe it or not my dad didn't want me to fly. I think it was probably just the stereotypes in society, the perceptions of what women should do and should not do. I think that was mostly what was driving him. But once he accepted it, he was very helpful. He's been an inspiration to me and so has my mom. Okay, that's the last security check. We're now heading to the aircraft. At 17, Koki attended flight school at Nairobi's Wilson Airport. My first flight was when I was about a few days shy of 18, and it was the most amazing experience. I was up there on my own in control of this aircraft. It was exhilarating. I knew I had picked the right career. In case we encounter severe or moderate turbulence, I'll let you know if I need you to stop service. After completing her commercial pilot training in the United States, Koki returned to Nairobi, joining Kenya Airways where she has remained for the past 23 years. I went on to become the first female pilot at Kenya Airways. Moving on, first female captain, moving on, first father-daughter flight about 16 years ago, then first all-female flight in 2005, and then now the first African Dreamliner captain in the world. Despite her many firsts for women within the industry, Koki's proudest achievement comes closer to home. I think my most memorable flight was the one I got to do with my father. It was his last flight in the airline. He chose to retire early and he wound up his flying career with a flight that he did with me. And that was very memorable. I'm sure a lot of people out there look for that validation from their parents and this was the ultimate validation for me. Koki hopes her personal story to the top of aviation will help inspire others to dream big. My dad was a pilot here at Kenya Airways and I guess from flying with him from a very young age I got interested in flying and here I am today. So basically the bars that you see Ali can stand up. So Ali is a first officer. That's why he has two bars. Actually, very soon he's getting a third one. He's just modest. I think he hasn't gone and gotten them, but he should be having three. Three is a senior first officer, and after that he's becoming a captain. And this is the highest you can get, so. <laughs> yeah. We have 82 passengers back on board. Koki became the airline's first female pilot and has risen through the ranks to captaincy. Okay, final items on the before takeoff checklist. In 2014, she was named among the 20 youngest power women in Africa by Forbes magazine. I think a title is what you perceive of it as an individual. I think I'm more of a change inspirer. I inspire people to become more. 